15 convicted of killing a sheriff's deputy learned how long he'll spend in prison. David Poppity admitted to killing Deputy Sean Percival last year during a high-speed chase. Ironically, his sentencing took place on Deputy Percival's birthday. Jeff Allen spent the day with a fallen officer's mother in Bell County. Bernice Percival says visiting her son's grave never gets any easier. I miss him so bad, it, it just don't seem so. Let him go. But on what would have been Deputy Sean Percival's 33rd birthday, his mother had an important message for her son. That they were sentencing the boy today on his birthday. And how much we missed him and loved him. Deputy Percival lies next to his faithful companion, King. The two were killed in January 2008 when police say David Poppity rammed right into their cruiser while leading police on a chase on Highway 119. A judge sentenced Poppity to a total of 25 years for wanton murder and fleeing or evading police. He also had a stern message for the 18-year-old on behalf of Sean Percival's three children. All those events that we look forward to, marriages, nobody will be there as their father because of your actions. Poppity acknowledged the judge's reprimand that his actions for many years led him on a path to trouble. But the deputy's mother still has one question for him. Why did you kill my son? She says seeing the sentencing of her son's killer helps, but her pain runs deep. Nobody knows unless they went through it how it feels to lose a child. And one that I can be really proud of. And I never want him forgotten. In Bell County, Jeff Allen, WKYT 27 News First. And even with more than 500 days already served in jail, it will likely be at least 20 years before David Poppity is eligible for parole. Fire.